Hi, my name is Giovanni, and today I present our work on the evaluation of the SZZ approach using a developer informed oracle. Where do bugs come from? There are a lot of studies investigating how bugs are introduced. And why we need to understand this? It allows, for example, to find out changes that can lead to a problem and avoid them in future. Also, to estimate how much a program is error prone and to better allocate resources in testing activities. Shriveski et al. proposed the SZZ approach that allows to find what is the commit that introduced the bug. The base assumption is that the bug is introduced by the lines impacted for the fix. But how it works? The process starts with a bug report analysis. Then a bug fixing commit is extracted and using it blame, one or more buggy commits are found. Next, a filter on the resulting commits is applied, and at the end, the set of bug inducing commits is obtained. There are several variants of SZZ proposed to improve the detection of commits that introduce defects, and also to evaluate the effectiveness of the approach. But there is a problem. Da Costa et al. I glided various difficulties in the evaluation and comparison of different variants of SZZ. In particular, small data sets are used for the evaluation and the validation of the data sets is usually manually performed by the researchers. So a possible solution to this problem can be to define a data set validated by the developers. In fact, looking at the commit messages, we notice that in some cases, developers who fix a bug also report information about the commit that introduced that bug. In this way, the idea is to build a developer informed dataset using the information given by the developers. So how we build the dataset? For first, we perform a mining of the commits from GitHub, starting from 2011 to 2020. Then an heuristic approach is applied where for first a keyword based filter is used. Then a syntax analysis using AI is performed. And at the end, the duplicate commits are removed. After this, we perform a manual validation on the obtained commits to remove force positive and add bug report data. As bug report data, we extract the linked issue to the commit message and we take the date when the issue is reported and the URL. As a result, more than 90 millions of commits are analyzed where about 3,600 are extracted. After the manual validation, we obtained about 1,009 commits. Also, we filtered the commits considering the top 10 file types in terms of modifications, belonging to eight different programming languages, where C and Python are the most frequent. At the end, in our dataset, there are about 1,100 commits with a total of 129 commits with issue report. After this, we want to understand how do different variants of SZZ perform in identifying bug inducing changes. To achieve this, we considered the SZZ variants present in the literature, starting from the first version, which is BSZZ, then in the next years, there, there are introducing some different filters on the commits. And the most recent version is RASZZ, which can filter out refactoring commits for the Java language. Also, we consider it some open source implementation publicly available 
And then in our experimentation, we consider the steps starting from the bug fixing commit to the bug inducing commit individuation. So a total of nine different SZZ variants are tested where the RSZZ variant is the best of all. And the open source implementation SZZ Unleashed is the best in terms of recall. The RSZZ variant takes the most recent commit as bug inducing change. But SZZ Unleash also has the worst score in terms of precision and consequently also in terms of F1 measure. So the results show that there is still a lot of, to do in terms of improvement. After this, we conducted the qualitative analysis on the bug fix commits where the SZZ variants failed. And then what have we learned? Lesson one, the buggy line is not always impacted in the bug fix, which means that fix and bug usually are in different locations. Lesson two, SZZ is sensible to history rewritings, which means that in the case of there is a revert commit, the SZZ can file to extract the bug inducing change. Lesson three, looking at the big picture in con changes, which means that in some cases, the fix consists in adding lines of code without making changes, or the fix is near the buggy lines and therefore SZZ fails. This because SZZ considers deleted and or modified lines to find out the bug inducing commit. In summary, we built a dataset by extracting fix and buggy commit pairs from GitHub using an heuristic approach. Also, we manually validated the obtained dataset and we apply a filter on the top programming languages. Also, we added the bug report information linked to a specific issue report. Next, we used the data set to perform a benchmark on the different variants of SZZ proposed during the years. And as a result, the best turns out to be our SZZ. But also the results show that there is still a lot to do in terms of improvements of the SZZ approach. And to help this, we also reported some lessons that we learned analyzing the commits where the SZZ variants fail. Our implementation of SZZ are publicly available on GitHub. So take a look at our repository. Thank you. Hello everyone. Um, if you just joined us in our last uh, during the last presentation. I'm Carolyn Seaman, and I'm the session chair for this session uh, on defect prediction and automation. Unfortunately, just about five seconds ago, I think I lost our presenter, Giovanni Rosa, who was with us a minute ago. Giovanni, are you, are you there? Um, Giovanni, if you're there, if you can hear me, can you put something in the chat? We can't see you or hear you. Uh, I think, unfortunately, Giovanni um, is not with us. We'll, we'll, I'll stay here for a few minutes in case he is able to come back. Um, so everybody, just take a breath. Um, there's at least one question in the chat, so I'm hoping that he can join us and, uh, and answer that question. Um, it was a very interesting talk, and I have some questions, too. Uh, so we'll just wait a few minutes and see if he is able to resolve his technical difficulties and be able to join us for the Q&A. So Giovanni, when, when you're able to join us, please 
speak up or put something in the chat or turn your camera on so we know you're with us, okay? Hello. Ah, there he is. Yay. <laughs> thank you. And thank you, Ed. It looks like you stepped in to help. Thank you. All right, Giovanni, are you ready to take some questions? Okay. Okay. All right. Welcome. So your first question is from Sebastian. And he says, nice work. Uh, he says, I can imagine that it was tremendous work to read and assess all those commit messages. What was your exact process in the manual assessment of the commits? particularly to ensure a good ground truth? So uh, we for first, uh, when we extracted all the commits from uh, GitHub, uh, we used the web application to uh, manually evaluate the commits. So uh, at the moment in, the, in our uh, web application, uh, we have the commit message with uh, a link related to the the repository, so to the code. And uh, in this way, we can access to the uh, commit uh, repos uh, the commit on uh, GitHub, so we can control manually the code and uh, all the information. So we, uh, in this way, we can uh, be sure to that this commit is uh, referred to a bug, and uh, so we can be sure. So did in your team though who who did that did people work together to do that or one person did all the uh, well, uh, we work to the, uh, together so everyone uh, have a set of commit that uh, need to be verified so we independently verified uh, the commits and then uh, the web app automatically handles when uh, a commit can, is uh, accepted or rejected. It's accepted when all the uh, evaluators uh, agreed on uh, the correctness of the commit. Okay, so how, how many evaluators did each commit have? Uh, all the evaluators uh, of the paper uh, minus one, so uh, seven people. Yes. Seven, all seven people looked at all the yes. commits? Wow, <laughs> that's an even bigger bigger job than I thought. Thank you. Um, all right, there's another question. Here it is from Na. Um, the observation buggy line is irrelevant to the fixed line in many cases, that, that's the observation you have in your paper, can be obtained purely from the data set without any experimenting using SCZ tools, is that right? Uh, uh, can you repeat, please? So, I, so um, one of the observations in your paper is yes. um, the buggy line is irrelevant to the fixed line. Okay. And the question is, did you actually need SCZ to figure that out? Or or can you just see that from your data set? Uh, we uh, see that at the end. When uh, the all the SCZ fail it to get that line. We manually verified at the end, and uh, there, is, there is like a problem, so we excluded them. Okay, okay, and the, and the next question actually is related, that, related to that from Gemma. Um, she says, one of your findings is, is that not all the lines in the bug fixing commits are buggy lines, like, like in previous, your previous observation, um, but RA, SZZ, I'm sorry, RASZZ removes refactoring lines from the bug fixing commit. So I was wondering if you have any idea of why RASZZ did not perform better than other approaches, because that particular variant is supposed yes. to remove those refactoring lines. Yeah. So uh, the, um, uh, we think that uh, is related to the fact that there is a little set of uh, commits uh, that have a Java, uh, Java language. So in the case of uh, uh, RASZZ fails on uh, a part of that commits, the, the metrics are uh, like uh, low. Okay. Cool. Um, so I have a question for you. Um, 
Did you find that any of the variants, the SZZ variants, uh, worked particularly well, maybe not in general, but in certain subsets of the data? So for particular programming languages or a particular domain or for big ones or small ones or highly complex ones, what, what, did any of the SCZ variants have a niche where they worked well, even if they didn't work well in general? So uh, the, the base version, the BSZZ is one that works uh, like in general. But for example, in the case of uh, RASZZ, which works only on uh, Java commits and then can filter out refactoring commits, in that case, uh, if, uh, for example, there is a data set only of Java commits, maybe is uh, one of the options to take into account to have a uh, more finely, a more fine uh, uh, analysis on the data. All right, um, another question from the chat. Na asks, uh, what is the internal criteria used to decide whether to keep a commit or filter it out in the manual process? Do you examine the program semantic correctness? How do you know which line is buggy by manually checking the code? Did the developers explicitly point that out? That might be several questions in there. I'll let okay. you parse that out however you like. So um, uh, when we, uh, for first we excluded uh, in the manual process, the commits were uh, from the message. We cannot link a specific buggy commit or for example, if in the message, the uh, fixed bug is uh, not present in the code, so it's not uh, like uh, uh, easily reconcilable, we excluded that. So we uh, take as uh, uh, correct uh, pairs of bug and fix only commits where we are extremely sure that there is the relation bug commit. Okay. Um. Uh, uh, Leandro asks, uh, to what extent does the heuristic filter, uh, might the heuristic filter miss some buggy commits? Uh, yes, the heuristic can miss some buggy commits. And uh, as we reported in the threats validity, uh, it can be that our heuristics is uh, like, uh, uh, maybe can represent uh, only a a set of buggy commits. Uh, but our uh, main goal is to obtain a high quality data set. So uh, we don't, don't uh, objectively evaluate that uh, issue. Yeah, so to, to follow up on that, we only have a few seconds left, so I don't know if you can answer yeah. this, but the, the buggy commits that are missed, um, is there any bias that gives to your data set? In, in other words, is there something some common characteristic of the buggy commits that you miss so that you miss that characteristic of your data set. And I'm sorry, we, we kind of run out of time, so I'm not sure you can really answer that. Yes, so... Um, and, and you're, you're gonna be cut off yes. in about seven seconds. So the, the fact is that uh, the commits excluded maybe